Hello everyone, welcome to a couple card openings. Uh, it's kind of important that I know this is recording because I won't be able to just rebuy them anytime. So sorry, but I'm going to have to pop up my little recording OBS thing here. Okay, so it is recording. That's that's good. That's good. Okay, so I already opened one of these packs. I've opened actually a bunch, what am I saying? But this is like the first one of this type that I opened. So I'm going to open up another pack. I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong here. If I am, just tell me. Uh, so that in the future I can make better purchases. But I'm just testing out getting a couple different packs to get an idea. See if there's any cards that I want to like build a pack around. Okay, let's read it. As geared founders enter the battlefield, you may pay two life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tap. Okay. Enchant creature. Enchant creatures can't block. So, I've been getting a lot of those. They seem pretty good. I might have a lot of them in a deck. Okay. Let's get some packs. need to think of which ones to get. Do 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 do. I got a couple cores, but I think I already have all the full core 19 packs. I meant cards. I'll try to get one of these. We need three. Because it could just look fancy. Legendary creature. Other pirates you control get plus one plus one. At the beginning of your okay, so I don't have any other pirates. So hopefully I could get a couple more pirates. I don't. I don't think I have any other pirates at least. At the beginning or end step. Uh, end step gain control of target. Non land permanent control. Who has dealt combat damage? Your three or more pirates this turn. Okay. Pretty cool. Crew one. Okay. Here's something I don't know. I don't really know what crew one is. Okay. Tap any number of creatures you control with a total power of one or more. This vehicle becomes an artifact creature until the end of turn. So these wild cards, I know what these do. They let you choose any card uh, of that type of rarity. Like, see this up here? This let you choose any mythic rare wild card. This here let you choose any uncommon, and this is just a common one. I'm probably not gonna use these in this video, at least, because I need to do some more research to figure out what I wanna get with them. Cool. It's a good card by itself too. Does it cost that much to summon? Uh, raid. At the beginning of your step, if you attack a creature this turn, you build a top card of your library and put the card into your hand. You lose a life equal to the cards. I'm not so sure. I probably won't put this in a lot of decks unless I'm like I'm confident. Because I have a couple cards that have like 12 mana starts. I know I probably shouldn't be using those yet. But if I happen to pull one of those, that would not be good. This ability triggers if a creature can control or attack. Vigilance. When sunrise, when sunrise seeker enters the battlefield, it explores. Vigilance. Attack 
game doesn't cause a creature with vigilance to tap. Oh, that's cool. Reveal the top card of your library. Explore. Reveal the top card of your library. Into your hand if it's a land. Otherwise, put a on it. On this creature. Okay, that's pretty. So spells. Uh, so this is. Destroy target creatures with three, with power of three or less. I have a lot of actual cards. Probably around like a thousand real cards. But in this, I don't, obviously don't have this many. I probably have around, at this point, 500 cards, and I don't even know if they could even be made into a legal deck yet. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Okay. When Vine Shaper Mystic enters the battlefield, put a plus one slash plus one count counter and up to two target Murfolk you control. Ooh, I don't know if I'm a Murfolk. Ooh, what's this do? Treasure. How did I get two cards in one? That hasn't happened yet. Do I get to choose or does this just come together? Another one of those because that was pretty cool. This will be my last pack. token vampires you control attacks create a one by one by one white vampire creature token with lifelink lifelink damage dealt by a creature or spell with lifelink also causes this controller to gain that much life oh that's pretty cool <laughs> so it's like life steal I probably sounds stupid saying that but I don't care okay Murflock, so that other card we got goes with it. Dark Nourishment deals three damage at any target and you gain three life. I like the ones that give me life because I'm not good at maintaining my life. Probably not a smart idea, but flying, flying. Okay, so these block the things below. I know that one. When Siren looks to enter, not block, but it like could go over. So let's say there's a card. You don't want it to get blocked at all, like this one. It doesn't have to get blocked unless the other person has a flying creature, I think. I don't know if flying creature is conflict or not. Yeah, so if there's another flying card, they do conflict. But let's say there's not another flying card. This could just go over it and immediately attack the person the player. This is just, it has health. It has a lot of damage. Cool. You gain four life, draw a card. It's a nice one. Thrash Raptor. As long as you control another dinosaur, Thrash of Raptors can Trample, trample. A creature with trample can deal excess combat damage to players or planeswalkers it's attacking. Duel. Shoot. Shot deals. Okay. Duel. Shot deals one damage to each uh, up to two target creatures. Eh. Okay. But it's instant, so I think that means that you can immediately play it whenever. Correct me if I'm wrong again. I really like that one. Before I open the middle card, because it seems something special about that one, I'm gonna open the other one. River Sneak. 
can't be blocked whenever another Merfolk can't be blocked. Whenever another Murphalock enters the battlefield under your control, River Sneaks gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Reach. Reach. A creature with reach can block creatures with flying. So I guess that is a thing. So basically in magic, if there's one thing that you can't do, you can do it if you have the ability to. <laughs> it's kind of oversimplifying it, but it's true. Okay. Despite castaways that can't attack unless you control an artifact. Dinosaur. Okay. That has little looks like a shield, basically. A meat shield. I'd probably use this one anyway. Creature, vampire. So we are getting some vampires. At uh, vampires. Slur so slurric. Sorry, I'm not so good at this type of stuff. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may have target vampires get plus two dash plus zero until end of turn. Common wild card. Neat. Uh. Okay. okay. In range, whenever Raptor hatchling is dealt damage creates a 3x3 three three green dinosaur token with trample. This ability triggers whenever this creature takes damage. Rage, okay. A creature with trample can deal excess combat damage to the player. Okay, we've already read trample. Creature, Murflock, Shaman, Shaman, okay. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Deep Root Champion. Sorry, yeah, it is a dinosaur. Yeah, okay. Last pack of the day. Unless I get some more of these. I've been using these, but. When dire fleet hoarders die, create a colorless treasure artifact token. Cool. I uh, still don't really know what the artifact is. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's kind of like a noob thing to say, but I kind of am a little bit of a noob. What I'm talking about a little bit. Look, I haven't even played this game yet. At least, arena. Until end of turn, target creature you control gets plus one slash plus one, and target creature an opponent controls a minus one. Okay, so an opponent loses stuff, which is pretty good. I really like, uh, don't know what to actually call this mana, the mana type, the skull. Can't remember the name, whatever, but I really like that type. Instant. Destroys target enchantment. That's good to, to get out of that. Flying, so if you go above. Equip, you may pay to equip cost to attach to permanent. So it's a permanent equip. A flying. What? Oh, Skyblade. <laughs> I was like, it's a vampire that just turned to a bat? Okay. When inspiring... Why do I keep saying okay? That's like... Whoa. Okay. Just did it again. What do I do? Okay, okay, okay. Now let's get back to the video. When inspiring Selic enters the battlefield, you gain four life. Yay! I like health. Return target non-land permanent. You don't control to its owner. Hand. Oh, so you can just basically put something back in someone's hand. If it's a converted mana cost, is two or less, it's scray two. It's great. Hey, another one of these things. It's uh, for each creature you control. That's pretty nice. But it's out of flips. But I'll just go back to that. 
When growing rights of Intimic, Intimoc enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand, with the rest on the bottom of your library of any order. At the beginning of your end step, you control four more creature transactions, growing rights of it dilemma. Okay. I guess I don't really understand, but I understand a couple of those things, and this card sure does a lot of stuff. <laughs> so for now, that's the end of packs, but we can go ahead and miss it some more enjoy. I have all the starter decks at this point. Uh, I'm getting a call. Ah, uh, wait a second for that. I'll quickly go with the deck collection. Just kind of scroll through for you guys. Uh, if you guys can even see any of this fast enough, this is the stuff I have. Okay. See you guys later.